Her life goal was to become the fattest woman in the world, so fat that she'd be totally immobile and bedridden. The ultimate goal is to be a thousand pounds. What attracts me to being immobile is you get to be like a queen. Her weirdo boyfriend poured milkshakes into her huge gob down a massive funnel. She also got freaks online to pay to watch her eat. Well, now it turns out that she's pregnant again, having already had two miscarriages. Did you pin down what the main cause was? Was the funnel feeding might probably have been part of it? Surely not. Um, yeah, pretty much all of it was just the, how much I was eating and what I was eating. So thanks to the insane social justice ideology of fat pride and body acceptance, two babies are dead. And now they're taking the same risk again with a third. I mean, people were telling us we were mentally retarded. What exacerbated that a little bit was the fact that people were like wishing this on us. No, mate. What exacerbated it was you literally sticking a tube into her neck and chucking ice cream down it because it gave you a hard on. Not mean comments on the internet. I believe in you. <laughs> Now, to her credit, she's finally started to lose weight, but this again underscores how identity politics is not only a threat to free speech, it's an actual health risk. They're still mired in the grievance narrative that people being rude to them on the internet is more of an outrage than them deliberately putting her health at risk and causing two miscarriages. It isn't. Take some damn responsibility. I'm attracted to her as a person. Yeah, that's not what you said before, is it? To see Monica getting bigger just makes me feel proud because she's achieving what she wants to do. <laughs> I mean, of course, I'm not complaining. I've been into, you know, fat girls ever since I was, <laughs> I've been into girls. If fat shaming is telling people that being overweight isn't healthy, then we should fat shame. I mean, it worked for her. Thousands of people warned her she was going to kill herself, and she responded by changing her diet. Fat shaming works. Fat shaming is a normal reaction to an unhealthy lifestyle choice. We don't tell smokers to be proud of their cancer, do we? But the same people whining about the NHS being underfunded are the very kind of social justice warriors who push fat acceptance, despite obesity costing the UK more than the police and fire service combined. 16 billion pounds a year. The same idiots who get outraged over ads featuring slim, attractive women. Universities are removing weighing scales from their gym because they're triggering fatties. They're even removing mirrors to appease fatties. Trust us, you look great. No, you don't. You look like a land whale. Do something about it or you'll get horrible diseases. A columnist who had been with the same newspaper for 30 years was fired after she complained about sitting next to a fat passenger on a plane. The mainstream media has been normalizing morbid obesity for years. But hey, at least CNN is helping me get the message out. Is radical feminism a refuge for fat, ugly women who can't attract high value men? The stereotype generally holds true because they look like swamp donkeys. Let's be honest, the body positivity movement is just an excuse that fat, lazy people use to avoid having to lose weight. Being fat is not an achievement. Looking like a tub of guts isn't a social justice movement. It's disgusting, dangerous, and shouldn't be encouraged. What could be more triggering to libtards than my face and this slogan? Get your new premium quality. Conservatism is the new counterculture t-shirt right now at InfoWarsStore.com and let the butt hurt commence.